Hello, going to be filming a hit workout. You just need a set of dumbbells for this one. Um, it'll be about 40, 45 minutes in length. Okay, we're gonna get right into it with a warm up here. In the center of the mat, those arms will reach up overhead. We lean to the left, come back through center to the right, and back we'll swan dive forward, heel scoop at the bottom, feeling that release for the hamstrings. One more each side here. And let's widen that stance, lateral lunges. You sink the hips down, keep that chest up. Two more each side here. Last one in one. And let's come down and press the hips back. Bring the head down, hands walk over to the left back through center to the right and come back we'll heel toe those feet in sink those hips down low yoga squat drive the knees out with the elbows slowly raise up to that forward fold again and sink the hips down drive those elbows against the knees slowly come up give those shoulders a shake we're going to go into body weight squats here nice and easy to start keeping that chest up we sink down into that chair, you squeeze the glutes at the top. Last two. And one more to bring those arms up overhead. You're gonna drive the elbows down, bring the knees up here. Just trying to loosen up to the upper body. Five, four, three, two, and one, we're gonna widen that stance for sumo squats. Down, you squeeze at the top. Four, three, two, last one here. And we'll come to the back of the mat. Those arms will reach up overhead. We walk to that high plank position. From here, we're gonna go two shoulder taps. One, two, slowly walk those hands back towards the feet, arms reach up, fold, walk forward, two shoulder taps, one, two, press those hips back, arms reach up, two more inchworms here, one, two, walk back, last one here. Let's keep those legs straight as we walk out, two shoulder taps, and press those hips back, downward dog, you're gonna float that left leg up, drive that knee to nose. Just going for a mountain climber from that three-legged dog here. Keeping that left foot up in the air. Last two. One more here. We'll bring the knee to nose and slowly bring that foot through. Drop the back knee here. Those arms reach up in that low lunge position. Hands come down to frame the foot. Let's come through the high plank again. Back to downward dog, pedal that side out. That right leg will float up. Mountain climber here, you drive that knee to nose. Floating that right leg up into that three-legged dog position. Two more here. Last one, keep that knee to nose and slowly bring that leg through. Low lunge, back knee will drop. Those arms will reach up. Hands come back down to frame the foot. We're gonna come through high plank and slowly walk the hands back towards the feet. Pause in that forward fold. Slowly come up to a full stand. We're gonna extend the arms out, pulse backwards here, opening up through the chest and the front of the shoulders. And let's bring those thumbs down. Same thing here. Arms are a little sore from my booster still. So do a bit of upper body today, but not too much shoulders. Two and one. We're gonna go into alternating reverse lunges here, okay? Stepping back with those legs, bringing the knee close to the mat, it does not touch. Alternating legs here. Let's go one more each side. And we're gonna finish off with some cardio here, just jogging on the spot to start. And into some butt kicks. 
And let's bring the hands to the chest, cross jacks here. You extend those arms. Four, three, two, and one, regular jacks. Four, three, two, and one. From here, you're gonna go into heel taps or high knees. It's up to you, okay? If you're doing those heel taps, you can skip it out or go nice and quick. Just kind of an alternative cardio move. Last four, three, two, and one. We're finishing off five jump squats here. You can always be a squat calf raise instead if you're not ready to jump. Last two. One, and rest. All right. To get started today, um, I'm gonna go right into an EMOM, focusing on uh, some cardio right away, okay? Get that heart rate up, and get us right into this workout. First move that we'll do, every minute's gonna stay the same, okay? First 20 seconds, we'll do one move, second 20 seconds, and then the third 20 seconds. Option to rest for the last 20 seconds of each minute. We're going for six rounds, okay? Exercise number one, what we're going to do, arms are gonna come up into that prisoner squat position. We squat down, knee to elbow. You drive that knee up and over, okay? That's exercise number one. Number two, we're gonna grab one weight or two. It's really up to you here, okay? Weighted jack. I just wanna focus on getting that heart rate up to start, okay? Then, the last move that we'll do for the remainder of each minute, it's gonna be a figure eight with that weight. You're gonna bring the weight in behind that opposite leg for the last 20 seconds, okay? Then we'll come back up, right into our prisoner squats, knee to elbow, and then back to our weighted jack, okay? Six minutes of work here. In three, two, let's go. Option to do one weight or two here, it's up to you. I'm gonna go with one. Prisoner squat, knee to elbow. If you just wanna focus on the squats here, that's fine. Keep that chest up with the hands up by the ears. Last two, one more here, and grab that weight. We're driving those weights up overhead, this weighted jack. We're on the mat next for those figure eights, that core move that doesn't feel great on the tailbone. You can always set that for a toe touch instead. Come on down. Figure eight. You bring that weight in behind the leg. You're trying to float the heels the whole time. You can always put that opposite leg on the ground if you need. Round two in three, two, and one. Right into it. Going to that squat with that knee to elbow grab my heavier set of weights there. 10 seconds here. Last two, one more, and let's grab that weight. Drive that weight up overhead. One weight or two here for that weighted jack. Ten seconds here, then we're back on the mat. Figure eight or that toe touch. And come on down. You're bringing that weight in behind each leg. Whew. Trying to keep those heels elevated if you can. Five seconds here. And let's drop that weight back into that squat. Knee to elbow. Drive that knee up and over. We're two rounds done here. Going for six in total. Focus on getting that heart rate up right away. Grab that weight. Back to that weighted jack. Drive that weight up overhead. Straightening those arms. Five seconds here. Then we're back on the mat. Three. Two, and one, come back down. Again, if you're doing that toe touch, it's gonna to look like this. You're pressing that weight up towards the feet, okay? Or you can stick with that figure eight, it's up to you. Just want this to be 
some weighted core. And come back up halfway through the seam off. Squat, drive that knee up and over. That knee drive simulates a standing crunch here. Now we're keeping that chest up as we squat down. Last one. Grab that weight right into it. This whole set can be modified for body weight as well. If you want to just do regular jumping jacks without a weight and then ins and outs instead of those figure eights. And come on down, right into it. Right into those figure eights. Try and keep those heels up. Last two, and one. Come back up, right into it. Squat, knee to elbow. We have two rounds left here. Drive that knee up. Core is engaged as you bring that knee up to meet the elbow. And let's grab the weight. Weighted jack, second last time. Five seconds here, a couple more reps. Four, three, two, and one back down for that core. Bring that weight behind the leg. Whew. Last four, three, two, and one. Last round of this EMOM, let's go. Squat knee to elbow last time. Drive that knee up and over. Last five, four, three, two, one more here. And grab your weight. Let's finish off these weighted jumps. Straightening those arms at the top. Five seconds here. Almost there. This will be six minutes straight of work. And come on down. Right into that core. Woo. Almost there. Bringing those knees into your chest. Try and float those heels. Last three, two, one, and rest. All right. Set number one is complete. From here, we're going to go into another EMOM, okay? I'm liking the style tonight. So same kind of uh, setup. We're going to do 20 seconds, 20 seconds, and then the last round, option to rest if you need, okay? So the first move that we're going to do here, we're going to grab just one weight again, okay? So what we're gonna do, it's gonna be an overhead jack. So we pop the weight up as we jack, so we go up. Then we're gonna bring the weight down and go into a sumo squat, we curl, okay? Up, down with a curl, okay? So without the weight, this is what the feet look like. We jack, then we come into a sumo squat. Jack the feet, squat, okay? With the weight, we press, then we come down. Press, bring the weight down between the legs as you squat. Down, curl, press. Down, curl, press, okay? That's exercise number one. If the weight's too much, I just want you to go for that jack to sumo. Jack, sumo, okay? That is your option there. Then second move that we will do, we're gonna keep that weight again, okay? Putting it right out by our chest, extend the weight. You drive the knees up as the weight comes into the chest. So it looks like this. Just using that one weight again, okay? Option to grab two if you'd like. Drive them in as that knee comes up, okay? Then the last move that we will do here, we're gonna come down into that high plank position. Option to just hold plank here if you'd like or go into cross-body mountain climbers, or rest. Okay, it's really up to you there. We're gonna get started here. Imam number two, okay? Six minutes again, in three, two, and let's go. Remember, we jack, 
sumo with a curl. Jack, sumo, curl. This is a bit of a combo move, so just take your time with the first couple reps. Sumo, the weight comes between the legs as you're in that squat. Woo. Last one, down, curl, press, extend that weight. You drive the knee to your chest as that weight comes in. So like a chest press here with a high knee. Six rounds of this, you'll definitely feel this in the shoulders, okay? So, if you wanna drop the weight at any time and just do the high knees, that's fine. And come on down. We plank, rest, or cross body mountain climbers. That knee comes across the opposite elbow. Woo. And come back up, we grab that weight again. Jack, sumo with a curl. Woo. Down, curl, press. The arms and legs are doing two different things here. That's why it takes a couple rounds to get the hang of this move. Last one, sumo, curl, press, right into it. High knee, with that weight coming into your chest. You tuck the elbows in nice and close. Again, this can be done with two weights if you'd like. Keeping those elbows close to the rib cage. Two, and one. Come on down, cross body mountain climbers, or plank, or rest. 10 seconds till round three. Whew. Last two, and come back up. Grab the weight, round three, here we go. We jack, sumo, curl. Jack, sumo, curl. Whew. Straighten those arms up, overhead. Last one. Sumo, curl, press, right into that chest press with a knee drive. Drive those knees up as that weight comes in. Last two, and one. Come on down to high plank. Taking that rest if you need at this point, We're just about halfway through this second EMOC. Two, one, and one. Come back up. Jack, sumo, curl, press. Whew. Good job. Almost there. Last one. Sumo, curl, press, extend that, those arms out, drive that weight to your chest as those knees come up. Whew. Five seconds here, then we're back to that high plank. And come on down. Whew. Again, always the option here, if you need that rest, you can only do 10 seconds of the plank, that is fine. We have two rounds left after this. Last two minutes of this EMOM. And come back up. Let's go second last time. Jack, sumo, curl. Jesus Christ. That was so scary. Sorry about that. Five seconds here. And extend those arms out. Drive that weight to your chest. Don't drop it. From the side again, looks like this. Bring that weight in as the knee comes up. Woo. Two and one. Come on down. High plank. Second last time here. Round six, our final round starts in three, two, and one. Last time here, let's go. Up, 
sumo curl press. Sumo curl press. Woo. We have five seconds here. Down, curl press. Last one, curl press. Extend those arms. Drive that weight to your chest. As those knees come up, core is engaged. Three, two, and one. We're all gonna hold that plank for this last round. 20 seconds here. Get that bum down. We have 10 seconds left. Five here, don't drop those knees. Two, one, and rest. All right, that is our second Imam complete, okay? From here, I'm gonna mix it up. I'm not gonna do another Imam. Um, from here, we're gonna go into a Tabata set, okay, to get that heart rate back up again. Three moves, sorry, no, I'll do two. Two moves that we're gonna alternate here, okay? 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, okay? First one that we will do, our four high knees. One, two, three, four, down and back. So a high knee burpee, if that's too much, just stick with the high knees. That's exercise number one. Number two, okay, we're gonna come down with that weight. We sit up, press, okay? That's exercise number two. A bit of cardio and core here. Tabata, set number three. And let's go, four high knees. We go down and back. One, two, three, four, down and back. If you just wanna stick with the high knees and take out that burpee, that's fine. Drive those knees up. Last one here. And rest for that active recovery. Come on down, sit up, straight leg or bent leg, it's up to you. You press that weight up overhead. Digging up through those heels. Drive that weight up overhead. Last one here. And rest. We're coming back up. High knee burpee in two. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Down and back. We're going through this tabata set for four minutes, okay? Drive those knees up. Five seconds here. And rest. Coming down for that straight leg. Sit up. Round two, grab that weight, right into it, dig those heels into the ground, drive that weight up overhead. Straightening those arms at the top. We have five seconds here. Last one. And rest, drop that weight. Halfway through the Shibata, a little brief intermission. <laughs> and right to those tiny burpees, let's go. Round three. Drive those knees up. Halfway. Last one. And rest. Three rounds left here. Whew. Come on down. Straight leg sit up with a press. Let's go. Straightening those arms up overhead. You're halfway there. Let's go. One more rep here. And rest. All right, one and one. Last round of this to back. In two, let's go. Drive those knees up. I'm gonna cut our rest for this last round. So we're gonna do 30 and 30. All right, let's go. 
drive those knees up. We're halfway. Ten seconds here, no rest. Last one, let's go. One, two, three, four. Down and back. Come right onto your back, grab that weight into your sit ups. Dig those heels into the ground. This is our last round with this exercise. 20 seconds left. Ten seconds to go. Last one here. And rest. All right. Next thing that we're going to do, are we going for time? Okay. Um, I'm going to do a set of intervals here, getting into that lower body with some lunges, okay? So the first move that we will do, we option to have that one weight again, or you can go body weight, okay? So first move, weight is up by our chest. We're going to go, actually, grab two if you have them. Weight's gonna be up by the eyes. Reverse lunge, little pulse to a knee drive. You bring those weights back, okay? Reverse, one, two, knee drive. One, two, knee drive. Alternatively, if you only have the one weight, you want to stick with that one weight, you can go reverse, one, two, knee drive with an overhead press holding that one weight. That's always an option as well. Then we're gonna drop the weight, go with a sprinter on that same side. So with that sprinter, you tip forward to the hips, drive the knee up, okay? Then the last move that we will do in this set of intervals, we're gonna come down into our high plank here. Two plank jacks to a tuck. If that's too much, we'll go two plank jacks, down dog toe touch. One, two, down dog toe touch. Option to add the tuck jump instead if you'd like, okay? We're gonna get right into it here in three, two, 30 seconds a piece. Let's go. Option to grab those weights if you want. One, two, knee drive. You pulse at the bottom for two. One, two, drive that knee up. Those weights come down, so it's like a tricep extension if you're using those two weights. If you have one weight, you're gonna press that weight up overhead instead. One, two, knee drive. Woo! Last one here. And drop those weights, tip forward to the hips, sprinter on that same side. I'm driving that left leg up. Drive that knee up, option to add the hop at the top. Whew. Should we feel that standing leg now, okay? Last four, three, two, and one, we come down to that high plank. Two plank jacks to either a down dog toe touch or two plank jacks, tuck jump. You bring those heels to your bum, shifting forward, that weight comes onto the hands. One, two, tuck. If that doesn't feel great on the knees, just stick with the down dog toe touch. One more. And rest. All right, 10 second rest here. Then we're gonna go into the right side. In three, two, and let's go right into it. My right leg's going back. One, two, knee drive. You drive that knee up, the weights are right by the eyes. on the side. Five seconds. One more here. One, two, knee drive. Drop those weights right into that sprinter. I'm driving that right leg up. The left leg is the standing leg still through this second exercise. Drive that knee up. Optional hop at the top. Last four, three, two, 
And one, come on down to that high plank. Two plank jacks, tuck. Or two plank jacks, down dog toe touch. Woo. We have 10 seconds here. Couple more. Three, two, and rest. All right. So for this last round, um, we're gonna double up the sprinters. We'll split the reverse lunge in half, okay? I'll let you know when to switch. We'll stay on the same side, okay? In four, three, two, and left leg going back. Reverse lunge to knee drive for 15 seconds, then we'll drop our weight. Sprinter for 30 seconds on the same side. Drop those weights right into that sprinter. My left leg is driving up. I'm coming down, touching the ground with each rep. Halfway here. 10 seconds left on this side, then we grab our weights again. Right leg is going back. Three, two, and one. Grab those weights, right leg back. One, two, knee drop. Drive that right knee up. One, two, knee drop. Last one, and drop those weights. Right leg comes up and through. Sprinter on the same side for 30. Drive that right knee up. Almost there. Less than 10 here. We're going down to that high plank next. Three, two, and one. Off with these plank jacks. Doing that tuck or down dog toe touch. We have 10 seconds here. Almost there. Woo! Last three. Two, one, and rest. All right. Woo. We've been going here for just about a little more than 33 minutes. The next thing that we're going to do, okay, I want to keep that heart rate up. Um, I'm going to go into a ladder set, okay? So with the ladder, again, we'll have that base exercise that we'll always add on to. Each round will get a little bit longer, okay? So, first move that we will do here, okay? I'm gonna start with something to keep that cardio up the whole time, okay? So first move I wanna do, four high knees to that squat. One, two, three, four, squat, okay? If that's too much, you wanna just go two high knees and then squat, that is fine as well. If you don't want to hop, that is always an option you can use, okay? So that's exercise number one. Then number two, what we're going to do, I'll grab those weights again, okay? Um, we're gonna tip forward a little bit here, bend those legs. You're gonna go for a curl one side, high pull on the other. Curl, pull. If you wanna hop, we can curl, pull. You alternate, you just flip the grip at the bottom. You can always step here though, okay? I wanna give that option. That's exercise number two. Then number three that we're going to go into, um, I wanna get nice and low, okay? We're gonna come down, little pulse, one, two, to a hop, or a calf raise, okay? If you wanna alternate the two, we go one, two, calf raise, one, two, hop, you can always do that, or just stick with a calf raise if you don't wanna jump, okay? That's exercise number three. Number four that we will go into, we're gonna come into that low sprawl position, we'll come down, plank jack, right back up, down, plank jack, and up, slow down version, we step back, tap, right, 
left, and then you walk up, okay? Then fifth move that we will do here, we're gonna come down onto the back, okay? I want to go for toe touch, leg raise. Toe touch, if you wanna drop one leg at a time, you can always do that as well. Then the last move that we'll do, we're gonna hold that boat position, okay? So we're going with six rounds here, all right? Each round, we'll get a little bit longer till we're working our way up to three minutes straight of work, okay? We're gonna get started right away here. All right. In four, three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, to that squat. Four high knees, little squat. I find it easiest to bring the feet together after the high knees, then you stop, then you hop out into that squat. Again, your option, one, two, then we squat. Two, squat, okay? 10 seconds here. Woo! Just gonna give you 10 seconds of rest. Each round is 30 seconds for exercise. And rest. 10 seconds here, we're adding on that bicep curl to high pull next. In three, two, we go back to our high knees. One, two, three, four, squat. One, two, three, four, squat. So this round will be a minute in length, okay? We're doing two exercises now. Each round gets a little bit longer. Five seconds here, then we grab those weights. And we grab the weights. We either stepping side to side, curl, high pull, curl, pull, or we hop. Okay, it's really up to you here. It also depends on what weights you have at home. Okay, if they're heavy, you're probably not doing a hop. Curl, pull. Weights are coming to shoulder height each time. We're just flipping that grip at the bottom. Last one, curl, pull, and rest. All right, this next round, we're adding on that pulse, one, two, calf raise, or one, two, to a hop, okay? In three, two, right back to our base exercise. You guys probably won't love this one by the end of it but we'll always start with this exercise for each round. One, two, three, four, squat. You're halfway. Grabbing those weights in 10 seconds. We're driving those knees up here, right to that squat. One, two, three, four, squat. Last one. And grab your weights. Right into it, curl, high pull. Lots of hops today. We're gonna stay low as we pop those feet out, whether we're hopping or tapping. 10 seconds here, we drop those weights again. Curl, pull. One, two, last one. One, two, drop those weights. Little pulse. Half raise or a little pulse to hop. Always the option here to alternate as well. Kind of a nice variation. One, two, calf raise. One, two, little hop. Good job. You have five seconds here. And rest. Give those legs a shake. We're adding on that scroll to plank jack next, okay? In four, three, two, back to our high knees. Drive those knees up, right to that squat. Whew. This is our fourth round of six. One, two, three, four, squat. Drive those knees up. This last round of this ladder will be our finisher, okay? So let's finish strong here. Last few minutes or so. 
and grab those weights. Curl, high pull. Curl, pull. Woo. Just flip that grip at the bottom here. 10 seconds. Last two. One more. Curl, pull. Right into that squat. One, two, calf raise. One, two, hop. You want to just stick with that calf raise, that works too. We come up on the tiptoes, right back down, little hop. Up, down, to that hop. Woo. And let's switch, get nice and low. Sprawl to plank jack. Woo. 20 seconds here, let's go. You can control the pace of this one, it does not need to be fast. 10 seconds here. Whew. Last one. And rest. All right. We have two rounds left here, okay? Two and a half minutes, and then a three minute round, and we are done. Grab a sip, almost there. In three, two, and let's go back to our high knees to squat. Second last time we're going through these. For this fifth round, we're adding in that toe touch leg raise. Drive those knees up. Last two. Um. Grab those weights right into it. Curl, high pull. Whew. Let's go. Second last time we're doing these. Curl and pull. Bringing those elbows up with that high pull. Five seconds here. And drop those weights. One, two, calf raise. One, two, hop. We're in that low squat for that pulse. Calf raise, hop. seconds here. Up, down, little hop. And let's switch right to our sprawl to plank jack. We're on our backs after this, going to that core. Whew. Almost there. We're almost there. Sprawl to that plank jack. Second last time here. Last two. One more here. And we're gonna flip over, right into it, toe touch, leg raise. Don't let those heels touch the ground. If you find that low back is peeling off of the mat, just go for one leg at a time. With that toe touch, you bring those shoulders off of the mat. Trying to keep the legs straight here. Last two, toe touch, leg raise, one more. And rest. All right. We have one round left here, okay? Three minutes of work and then we are done. We're gonna finish off strong here. In four, two, and let's go. Last round with these six exercises. For this last round, we're adding in that boat hold at the end. If you wanna hold plank instead, that's fine. I know boat isn't comfortable for everyone. Drive those knees up. One, two, three, four, to that squat. Last two here. 
drive those knees up and we grab our weights right into it let's get nice and low curl high pull Way. Going to that squat next. Last four, three, two, one, and we drop those weights. One, two, calf raise, one, two, hop. We come up onto the toes. Up, down, hop. Up, down, hop, five seconds here. Almost there. And let's switch right to our sprawls to plank jack. A minute and a half left in this workout. Almost there. Fifteen seconds here with these sprawls. Let me finish off with core for the last minute. Woo! Get up, last two reps. One more sprawl. And we flip over onto the back. Toe touch, leg raise. Slow it down here. Focus on that breath for this last minute. Entirely core. You bring the shoulders off of the mat for that toe touch. Slowly bring the heels down, they don't touch. Last two. One more here. Toe touch, leg raise, bring them back up. We're slowly gonna come up onto the bun and whew, get those legs up. As if you could balance something right on those shins. Again, if this doesn't feel great, you can always hold a low plank instead. Don't let those heels drop. You're almost there. Last 10 seconds here. Almost there. Five. Woo. Three, two, and rest. From here, I just want you to come right onto your back. Extend those legs long, point the toes. Arms can come up overhead. Hollow out that core. Slowly bring both knees into the chest, hug them in. You can roll out that lower back if you'd like. And you can slowly come on up whenever you're ready. Thank you so much for joining me. That was a little bit longer than I anticipated they usually are. Um, but I hope you enjoyed and have a great night. Thank you.